हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय टुडेस टॉपिक इज सिमेट्री द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सिमेट्री एज आई टोल्ड यू इन माय अर्लियर वीडियो सिमेट्री इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट ज्योमेट्रिकल कॉन्सेप्ट सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव केप्ट हियर वन लीफ इफ आई फोल्ड इट अलोंग लेंथ सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट दिस टू पार्ट विल कवर्स ईच अदर एग्जेक्टली okay so this line is known as line of symmetry so the line which divides the figure in two equal parts is known as line of symmetry this red color line is known as line of symmetry here we, with the line of symmetry here we are getting two identical figures this part and this part two parts are there in particular figure so these two parts will be identical these two parts will overlap each other see different different words are there in different books you will get different definition but the meaning is same or we can say these two parts covers each other exactly so i have used the word identical two parts are identical then i use the word overlap these two parts overlap each other and the last i use the word covers these two parts covers each other exactly if your leaf is like that this is known as vertical line of symmetry suppose your leaf is like that then this is known as horizontal line of symmetry if leaf is like that this is known as slanting line so uh, slanting line of symmetry so this is the way we are getting different different way of line of symmetry in figure and line of symmetry depends upon the figure without looking at the figure we can't say that how many line of symmetry is there so now one by one we are going to see line of symmetry in regular polygon so the smallest regular polygon or number of sides are three that is the smallest one so we are getting this triangle already i have made the fold so that my work will be more easier so what you are supposed to do you are supposed to take the scale and just fold it with this vertices make this middle point uh, in my video how to get the centroid and ortho center already i have explained you so first fold this side get this middle point and now this middle point and this vertex you join you will get here one line of symmetry so make the crease this is your one line of symmetry similarly we will take midpoint of this side so this is the midpoint and join with this you will get second line of symmetry and now take the midpoint of this side so this is your midpoint and just join it so this is the way you are getting here three line of symmetry so equilateral triangle and equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry so we can say that equilateral triangle has three sides so number of line of symmetry is also 3 now take the square okay so again just fold it half so this is one line of symmetry this is horizontal line of symmetry open it again fold it along length so this is again another line of symmetry that is two line of symmetry now fold along the diagonal again you can see that two parts covers each other so this is your third line of symmetry now fold along the another diagonal again fold it you will get fourth line of symmetry so we can say that a square has four sides and number of line of symmetry is also four take another example rectangle so fold it along the length so this is your one line of symmetry just make the crease now fold it along the width so this is your two line of symmetry now if we will fold along the diagonal you can see that these two parts will not cover exactly so a rectangle has only two lines of symmetry now pentagon how to make the pentagon you can take one uh, strip and just make a knot 
just once again I am showing you just take a one strip and just make a knot and just rearrange and little bit careful otherwise paper will be torn yeah and whatever extra sides are there just cut this extra sides here you can see that this side is extra and use favicol to stick this similarly your this side is also extra so cut this also and fold it at the back side and put it favicol so this is the way you are getting pentagon so here also you can find out number of line of symmetry you can stick this in your notebook and just join all the parts and find out if it is a regular pentagon so with our concept we can say that regular means all the five sides will be equal in length so the pentagon must be having five lines of symmetry similarly you can make hexagon also with your paper folding activity so this is your one paper one strip and another one you can make here take another strip just take around with the earlier one and again insert from the same way so this way you will get hexagon you just have to be arrange it properly while stitching this be careful and just see again whatever extra sides are there you can cut I'm just folding just now but you will cut this you will get this hexagon let me cut so that I can show you these are the extra strips so cut and use your favicol to stick it same way this side also cut the extra length and again fold it at back and this is the way you are getting regular hexagon So you can stick this regular hexagon also in the notebook and find out how many line of symmetry is there. So this is your work to find out line of symmetry for pentagon and hexagon. You can fold this and you can find out. So after this activity we can say that this is your triangle, this is your square pentagon and hexagon these are the regular polygons equilateral triangle square regular pentagon and regular hexagon so each regular polygon has many lines of symmetry as it has sides different as it has sides it means if a regular triangle has uh, equilateral triangle has three sides so number of line of symmetry will be three Square has four sides, so line of symmetry will be four. Regular pentagon has five sides, so number of line of symmetry will be five. And regular hexagon has six sides, so number of line of symmetry will be six. So this is the way by the activity we can find out how many line of symmetry will be is there in the given figure. Thank you for watching today's video.